Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. It is December, and we have ice on the lake and hunters. Oh, man, he moved right when I pulled the trigger. Okay, he's down. Right when I pulled the dang trigger. Ah, crap. I'm trying to keep the keep them away from the base. Uh, you know, so... Okay. Whew, that was close. I just about bought the farm there. Um, you know, so they don't do any damage. Uh, what we're going to do in this episode is we are going to... Um... Uh, work on the base today. So I've got <clears throat> plenty of nails and wood and all that stored up. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is, uh, because it's winter time and because you guys can now run right across the water and stand up and they're not down in the water, they're going to be able to lob stuff over the walls even easier. So we're going to, we're going to increase the walls. We're going to double them up so they're twice as tall to help with that. And then whatever's left over, uh, in terms of resources, we'll start uh, doing some work on the actual base itself. So yeah, it is a uh, mid-December, mid to late December anyways, and the lake just froze up last night. And I was just out um, cutting some wood when I saw these yahoos coming, so I figured, well, let's just go ahead and start the camera now. And uh, yeah, so I th that was either Alpha or Charlie. I'm pretty sure it was either Alpha or Charlie, but we could get the rest of them today too, so we're gonna have to be really vigilant. Um, so let's just see if there's anything else on the island uh, that we can loot. Doesn't look like it other than this fiber plant here. Um, oh, and some iron. Good. <clears throat> I am uh, really, 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 really <laughs> low on iron right now. Um, even to the point where I'm thinking about switching my water um, drill over to iron for a bit. Uh, because we have a few stacks, full stacks of the water now. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's uh, let's do that. Let's switch this over to to iron. Okay. Um, and you know, at some point, I'll switch back to water, and probably eventually we'll have a couple uh, a couple more of those in place too. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab a stack of nails and we have 76 more after that so that's pretty good i've got 99 boards and we have a full stack of cordage there uh, let's get this smelted up i have been making ingots i have six in total which is enough to make the boiling pan but i think we're gonna we're gonna grind all the way to the baking pan first and do the boiling pan later on the reason being is because i have so much of this high-end food in here uh, and I'm, I'm running out of room in my fridge. Uh, so we have to, uh, here, let's just actually just eat that. Um, you know, I need to start turning that into food. Uh, our vegetable supply is pretty good. We got 46 potatoes, 35 carrots, 30 onions. Um, and those are the things that we're going to need to make those dishes. So um, we're doing good on that. Uh, you'll notice, too, that I moved the crop plots indoors. So here's the thing with the crop plots. When you guys told me this in the comments, too, I could leave them outside, but they won't grow in the winter time uh, when it's cold out unless you put fertilizer in and I don't want to have to put fertilizer in all four plots to keep them all growing so I decided to move them in I put in another uh, wood stove here as you can see to keep them warm uh, because that one doesn't reach all the way to the end of the house and you know we're just gonna <clears throat> have them inside the base uh, over the winter and then we'll move them back out here um, in the springtime and build our greenhouse and all that sort of thing okay uh, so let's see here. What are we doing? Oh, we're gonna we're dropping off a couple more things to see I got a full stack of zinc there. So we'll put this zinc in there that can go in there uh, that can That's ammunition stuff uh, now we have two full stacks of that again. So that means these start to go back into the grinder The gears can go up here that goes there that goes there that goes there that goes there and these three extra pieces of wood, let's just throw those in there. Okay, so we're ready to start doing some building. Now, I don't have, yeah, I don't have any metal plates on me, so, you know, these are just going to have to go up as wood walls, and we'll 
pro you know we'll eventually get them upgraded but the the main goal of them is to prevent the grenades from lobbing over the wall and hitting our building and stuff up here because this is always where they're aiming right here uh, that's where the bcu is okay so let's go ahead and get started so we're gonna need just a whole crap ton of walls and one curved wall let's make the curved wall first and then we're gonna need one two three four five six seven eight you know what let's just do it let's just go at least all the way to here um, they do occasionally come over here but most of the time they don't most of the time they're attacking from this area uh, so I, I think I said eight right one two three four five six seven eight all right let's put our curved wall up and like I said we will eventually upgrade that to uh, armor as well uh, we're gonna do something different with this short wall I'm gonna put a tall wall here as well which means I actually didn't make enough but that's all right uh, what we're gonna do with you is uh, yeah, go there for a minute go there for a hot minute so if I run out um, to fight these guys what I'm gonna do with this is we're gonna put it down um, along the rail here so I have a place to duck under cover so let's just put it right here should be good enough there so that way you know I can I can have a place to duck down and we might even you know put some over here too but we'll we'll just start with this one because I had to get it out of the way anyways and uh, you know then we can use that for cover okay so that takes care of that now um let's put this here and this here now one thing that's uh, the downside to this is that I'm no longer going to be able to look out this window while I'm still on the base to see if they're coming. So now we're going to have to go up higher. But that's okay because, you know, I had intended to... Oh, that's that's on backwards. I had intended to, you know, build a lookout tower for this base anyway. Um, so, yeah, here, let's redo this. I thought that looked weird when I saw it there. There we go. Okay. Um, somewhere along the lines too, probably because I, I did another attack on Bravo only. The cycle's gotten a little mixed up, so they're not all, all three groups coming on the same day, which um, kind of sucks because, you know, I could kind of plan around that and just be ready for them. But that's okay. We can, you know, we'll make it work. Uh, I might be able to reinstitute that by just attacking all three of them on the same day like we did that one time. Um, so that might be the best way to handle that. All right, put that up there. Put that up there. And we're going to need uh, one more for this. And we'll, like I said, we'll leave this corner open for now. Um, if I notice that they're coming over here a lot and lobbing grenades and over, then we might even extend the wall, you know, further this way. Uh, but for now, I just want to get this this part of it covered. Because, it's you know, the thing is, is I'm either going to have to repair all of this stuff up here constantly, which I'm doing, or we just repair this up here and, and then they don't hit the base. That's the theory anyways. Okay, so let's put that there, and yeah, that's that's good. All right, now next next thing we're gonna do um, by putting my my crop plots here, I kind of screwed up my entrance over this way because I can't quite get through the door. Um, <laughs> well, I get I, I guess I can kind of yeah. Well, it's not ideal, is is what I'm trying to say. So. I could rearrange and maybe will rearrange things in here to make that work a little bit better. But the next thing I want to do here is I want to extend things out this way. Okay, so that means we're going to create a couple of curved foundations. And 
we're going to set this up at least initially as more of a patio that wraps around, but I might uh, <clears throat> increase the in interior of the base uh, too. But right now, uh, for today, today it's just going to be a patio. Uh, and then we're going to need a couple more of these. I'm not sure how many actually. Yeah, probably th three or four more. Let's do three, and then we'll see where that puts us. Okay, and then let's flip, whoops, uh, flip this right here. Good. And that goes this way. Let's go around to the other side. Now I got three, three new chickens too, by the way, in case you didn't notice. So, hmm, I gotta think about this actually. We might have to... do something different here and make this turn this wall into a door uh, because we definitely want this side to be walled because sometimes they do attack from you know that area there okay that being the case let's let's make a door way and a door and what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna move this wall Where are we going to move this wall? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Let's just, uh, whoops. Let's just stick it there for the minute, uh, for the moment. Uh, no, actually keep that down there first and snap that in place. All right, now take the doorway and put it there. For the stairs. Alright, we're gonna need these stairs to maybe go the other direction. Like this. Can I? Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess that works. It's a little weird. We have to kind of <laughs> duck our head a little bit, but it, it does seem to work. All right, we're going to leave it this way for now. It might not stay that way permanently, though, because it's a little jank. But it's functional, so, yeah, we'll probably just leave it that way for now. Okay, let's put the door in. There we go. All right, now. Um... I think we'll keep the grain of the wood still matching this side. And that's actually going to be important, too, if we um, eventually go inside. And I think that'll happen automatically if we just face this direction and pop these in place. Oops. There we go. One thing I like about this too is it, you know, it covers the rest of the stone and, you know, puts us at our deck pretty much right out to the edge of the water with, you know, a little exception of that. So that's cool. All right. Now, let's go back in here. Now, what we could do is we could push everything out this way and make a further, you know, deck out in the future. It's going to give us, obviously, if we do that, it's going to give us more floor space inside and things are kind of tight, especially with the crop plots in there. However, I also have it in mind to, to build up. In which case, we could move certain things um, down below up above. So I have to kind of give that some thought. We could probably move these down to the patio, at least for the winter time, and get them, you know, out of the way. I don't see why not. So I guess the question I have to ask myself is, do we want to extend the ground floor out?
Um, and if we did that, if we did that, we could still put another curved piece in here and a curved piece in here and still have a little, you know, balcony that stretch, you know, that stretches out over the water. Uh, and it could even be ceiling pieces. It doesn't have to be foundations at that point. Okay, let's look on the inside. So if we do that, that's going to gain us a lot more space. I'd have a whole bunch of moving around of stuff to do. <clears throat> but we could, we could push these entryways on both sides back a whole foundation. And this would... We'd probably move this stairwell in and we'd get up to the upper floor from the inside since we'd have more room, you know, to find a place to put it. Ah, uh, I, I, I think that's what I want to do. I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so to that end, then, um, also, it'd be kind of nice to have some windows on this side. Um, it could make them a little more vulnerable to attack, but again, the majority of the attacks happen in this corner anyways. Um, okay. I'm just trying to think about this for a minute. If we did a window there and a window there, of course we have our stacked crates is the thing. And if we did, see that takes up about a foundation and a half. And we could put two more and, you know, have a total of six on the wall. We just wouldn't want them sticking out at the wind. Oh, okay. Actually, okay. Hold on a sec. I know. I'm sorry. I'm making this up as I go. So bear with me. All right, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's grab, oops, let's grab this wall here. And we're gonna, we're gonna put it in the center. Okay. Now, let's make two windows. We're getting low on boards there. Just thinking, just thinking. Okay, so, um, oh, those aren't windows, those are doors. You know what, though? If we're going to have a balcony out here, we are going to need a door, aren't we? So, I can just lie to you guys and said I did that on purpose. <laughs> um, that's not quite what I had in mind, though. All right, let's make a window here. How many, uh, I got 19 boards left. Can I also, um, because this is a tack side, we would want that to be a solid curved wall, but, uh, we'll probably make this a solid curved wall too, just so it's, uh, just so it's, uh, what's the, uh, symmetric is the word I'm looking for. Okay. Then what we can do is put a window here. And we could stack the crates along here, but we're only going to be able to... I don't think we can get six in there. No, we'll, we'll still only have to do the four. But, I mean, the four crates are doing doing fine. I mean, you know, I've got... I'm pretty good on managing to get everything in all of them. And what we could do if I really started running out of space is we could do, like, an overflow crate and just put some spare stacks of things in it. So I still think four crates along this wall is, is going to do the job for us. Okay, so let's put this here. And we'll put the other one here. 
and this again this will will create a new balcony going out this way but that'll probably that'll have to be a future project so right now we're just going to shut this with a door okay put that there good now this little section here what i'm going to do we got the stairs there, right? We could move this doorway this way and have the doorway go out there. But this section will just be a single story, uh, maybe with a slanted roof going up, and then this section over here will make two stories. So, yeah, why don't we do that? Let's take this and stick it here like so okay and then we're gonna do the same thing here and put this door here Good. All right. Nice. Now, all of these walls here will, uh, they might, actually, you know what? I might have to keep these, this wall here, or at least part of it, to build up. I'm not sure yet about that. Oh, yeah. I'm not quite sure about that yet. Okay. But here's the thing. I'm, I am currently, um, out of boards. I'm going to have to get some more boards going. Um, how many nails does that leave us with, too? 150. Okay, that's still a decent amount of nails. But, you know, we're going to need those for repairing and all that, too. So, we're going to go ahead and, and stop the building here until, you know, I can, I can build up the resources again to continue this. But essentially what we'll do is we'll put a flat roof over the top of this. And then we'll do something about these interior walls so that we can then expand the first floor. And then we'll put a roof, a corner roof and slanted roofs all, you know, going up to the top of here um, and then start working on a second story for this part of the building. I might also do something similar on this end, expand it out too. What we could do on this side though, I don't think we're gonna need that much space, especially for a single floor. So this side, we'll, what we could do is make actually make it a patio. Expand it out, you know, have a stairwell going up to it from there, and this is, would be like the lower deck, and that would be the upper deck. Okay, so that's kind of what I have in mind for that. All right, cool. All right, you guys, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here, do some stuff around the base, and then I'll bring you back, and maybe we'll just go on a quick loot run, uh, our first full-on winter loot run uh, for a little while to wrap up this episode okay so i'll see you guys in a bit all right guys we're back it's the next morning and i think alpha and bravo are going to attack me today so i'm thinking why don't we just preempt them and go after them instead um i i don't have i'm trying to save all my iron for ingots here anyway so i don't really have enough to make a lock pick uh so let's actually make another ingot we have one more to go and then we can make the the baking pan so yeah, let's just go after them. Um, so let's see, we're going to need to make some picks, so we'll grab that and that. Um, let's cancel those for the moment. And we need two picks and two grenades. I have a total of five. We're not going to go after Charlie today, but we'll go after Bravo and Alpha. And then, uh, what are we short on? Oh, we're short on boards. We need two more boards. Do I have boards in here? Yeah, I have boards in there. Okay, we'll make two picks for that. And then, um, you know what? Actually, let's just make three picks. We're going to need them anyways. And then we'll put all this stuff back in here. We got our grenades. All right, let's eat some liver and onions and throw back a tomato and maybe a couple of blueberries. And that gets us in pretty good shape food and water-wise. 
Uh, armor's in reasonable shape. Let's go. Let's go raid those dudes. Get their get their fat loots. Maybe hopefully we'll get some ingots from them. Uh, because, like I said, I mean, we're, they're going to come after us anyway today. I'm almost positive that they will. Because usually what's been happening is Charlie hits us, um, and then a day later, then we get hit by Alpha and Bravo. That's kind of been the, the cycle recently. So we'll hit them, see if we can get some more ingots and, you know, whatever else we can raid from their base. And uh, hopefully... By the time this is all said and done, we, we can finally make our baking pan and start making the really, really good food. All right, let's see here. So we got the same dude that's always stuck behind a fence. He seems to be perpetually stuck behind a fence, which is okay with me. I'd really like to get that iron, but that isn't going to happen from down here. Um, all right, let's just stay focused here. Grab this. Yeah, he's behind a fence. The other guys, sometimes there's a guy down by the campfire. Or they might all just be in the house. Okay, let's blitz up here. Oh, there's one right there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. He's careful. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Shoot, bud. Shoot all you want. Ain't gonna do you any good whatsoever. Okay, we're probably going to have two guys in here, I'm guessing. Okay, let's drop that. Okay. Let's get the bang, bang, banging on the door. Okay, here we go. Take care of everybody in here. Let's just make absolute sure. Yes. Okay. We'll take all of this stuff. Uh, oh, looks like Alpha's attacking us right now. Okay. Well, we're here now, so we're not going back over there. Uh, well, actually, here. Let's see if we can just loot really quick. Um, no ingots, but we got some pre. Oh wow. Yeah, we got some premium arrows. Pad of cloth. Another um, grenade, which is good. And let's see what else we want to take this and this and all of this. Okay, I'm not going to bother trying to make stuff with their power and mass. Let's just get see if we can get back to the base and uh, catch these guys in the act. He's running around the side there um eat those and eat this to pick up those two things whatever they are okay i see okay i see one guy there and another guy running towards uh well either towards or away Oh, these guys might be Charlie, actually, because they're running back towards Charlie's base. Okay, he's dead. I want to catch this guy before he gets too close back to their base. His backpack should stay stick around for a little while. Yeah, that's, these are guys are actually Charlie, so I wonder if it's Alpha that's been attacking me the day before. Huh, I don't know. Okay, let's get the stuff here. We'll go back to our base and drop off, and then we'll hit Alpha.
kind of makes it nice, you know, having the ice on the lake. Makes it easier for them to get to us, but it makes it easier for us to get to them, too. So I don't have to chase them across halfway across the lake in the water. All right, what do we drop? We dropped a medicinal tonic and matches, both things we definitely want to keep. So what we're going to do... Uh, no, that's not going to work, is it? Well, let's eat these. And let's... Let's turn these into a biofuel and chuck that. There we go. Okay. All right. Well, we don't need to worry about Bravo attacking us for the rest of the day. We've taken care of them. And Charlie's attacked. And so that, again, leads me to believe that it was Alpha that attacked us yesterday. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of damage there, but... Nothing I'm honestly too worried about. Uh, and if it prevented them from throwing stuff into the yard, that's that's the good thing. So we'll worry about, you know, repairing later. So let's just drop a couple things off, and then we'll go hit Alpha. Okay, so... You go in there. You... You... You go there. Do, 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 do. All of this goes in here. Nice. We got six premium arrows. You know, I've got enough materials to start making the premium arrows too and, and actually using them. So we might be doing that here pretty quick. Uh, nope. That stuff can all go into here. So that goes in there and that goes in there and that goes in there. Trying to be really careful not to put something in there I don't intend to. Let's turn you back on. All right, this is potassium, um, and that's zinc and copper. Oh, nice. Okay, so we've actually got enough to make the next ingot, but let's wait until we raid Alpha first, because they might supply the ingot for us. All right, so that goes there, that goes there. Uh, this, I don't know, I guess we'll put that there. That goes there, that goes there, and this goes here. All right, let's stoke our fires. And I'm just going to put this ash in here for now, and I'll worry about that later. Okay, let's um, eat one of those and have a couple of tomatoes. Or actually, just one tomato is all we need. I think I'm just going to drink from here for now. And we should be good to go. We got our. Uh, we actually have two grenades, but we're still only going to use one. Um, am I forgetting something? Probably. Probably. But let's go. Let's go. Close that. Okay. Alpha is our next victim. <laughs> We're going to make sure they don't attack us. And you know, because we retaliated and killed Charlie by attacking Bravo earlier in Alpha now, that might reset them all to come after us on the same day again. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. Ammo crate. All right, let's scooch up this way. Wolf over there. Uh, we're cold, but I want to keep my armored vest on until we deal with these guys. down. Where is this other guy? How close is this other guy to us? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Oh, man, I love the double barrel. It's just a beast. Those two shots and every, pretty much anything's going to be dead. 
except for maybe a really high level three moose or something that you haven't softened up first. Okay, let's get this on. We're still gonna have one guy inside. Their claymore is still where we left it, but we should be able to handle this guy inside okay. All right. And let's break down the door. All right, here we go. Okay, nobody down here. Hmm, okay, I guess that's it. All right, let's take this stuff. No one out this way. Grab that, that, and that. And uh, I guess that's it. Turn that on and run their fuel out. And here's what we got. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We got a hunter jacket. Beautiful. This is the same six protection two warmth as this shirt here. Cool. Okay. We found that in season one, too. Uh, well, let's see. We got some shotgun shells, a bunch of casing, some rifle ammo, another grenade, and a bunch of uh, potassium. Eh, okay. Not, not the best raid in the world, but it's not too bad. We'll take it. We will take it. Okay. Um, now, we this leaves us with a total of five grenades that we still have, which means all we have to do is make a breaching charge, and then we can raid Charlie, too. Of course, we're not going to do that in this episode because we're out of time, but um, maybe in the next episode or something. We'll see. We can hit hit Charlie. Um, so, yeah. All right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to let you go here. And that is it for this episode. I'm going to... Oh, I don't know when I'll bring you back. You know the drill, though. I'll probably spend a couple of off-camera days looting, that kind of thing. Oh, no, wait. You know what? Actually, before I let you go... We're gonna go make our bacon pan. Let's go do it. All right, let's put our uh, our shirt in there, I guess, and uh, put the grenades back in here. So yeah, we got five grenades. That's that's more than enough to raid Charlie, it, it, with, along with the breaching charge, which we'll have to make. Uh, so yeah, that's great. Uh, okay, so we need. 10 more of these. Um, oh, I guess I... That's right. You can't click into this one for some reason. I don't know why. And we need some copper, which we have in here. Here, let's let's use this copper. I put it in the wrong place. Let's make one more ingot. And then... Um, I hope we have enough mass and we'll have enough power. Do we have enough mass to make the baking pan? We don't. We need 250 mass. Oh, darn it. Okay, so yeah, the only way we're going to do that now is if I well, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's bring that back up to 70. No, we'll bring it up to 80. Let's not break the rules. The rules are always to have at least 80 wood. Sometimes I break that rule, but this time we won't. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll make a bunch of sticks. We'll throw those in, and then whatever's left, we'll just use the fabric. And in fact, let's just turn this on right now because I know we're going to need it. And we'll run both jennies to compensate for that. All right. Now, while we're waiting on that stuff, we are going to need 40 zinc and 9 adhesive. I've got over a, a full stack of adhesive already, so we'll just cut that in half. Okay, so there's the nine adhesive. I've got a full stack of zinc there and 18 more here. Uh, so if we split that in half and split that in half and put all this back in here and then... Nope, I did it again, didn't I? Here, let's do it this way. There we go. And then this zinc can go here. And that should give us everything we need. I have an extra battery there uh, to make this. We're just waiting on the mass now. Okay. So we'll, f we'll let these fi uh, sticks finish and then 
We'll throw those in there, and that should get us pretty darn close once the sticks are done. And then, look at this, you guys. Oh, man, we're going to be able to make the best food in the game. We've got 15 rack of ribs waiting for us from the mooses that we've killed, and we have 14... Ch oh, actually, we're going to have 15 chickens, too, because guess what? We have a mature chicken. Hey, buddy, come here. Come with me. I got a surprise for you, and boy, are you going to be surprised. It's called Play... Let's Play Ring Your Neck. <laughs> it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we have 15 whole chickens, too. Man, oh, man, are we going to make some good food here. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and we got 13 eggs, which is super cool. Yeah, we got to start making some premium arrows here. Um, oh, it looks like we have crops that are ready to harvest, too, but I'll, I'll take care of that later. Okay, so let's dump all of these into here. And what does that get us up to? 207. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Um, I will bring you guys back when this gets up to 250. Okay. We are ready to go. So let's craft the baking pan. Boom, baby. And then, of course, we'll do the ba the boiling pan. I'll probably just kind of go right to the boiling pan next and get the get it done. <clears throat> and then, you know, after that, we I, I want to make some some turbine turbines, especially in the winter. And then we're probably going to start focusing on upgrades. You know, upgrading our weapons and stuff. Okay, cool. So let's put this thing in here. Uh, let's see equipment. Oh, where did it go? Uh, oh, it's right there. There we go. Look at that, man. Oh, that is just beautiful. Okay. What do we need to make the moose thing uh, cook? We need two potatoes, two onions, and two carrots. Two potatoes, two onions, and two carrots. And let's... Oh, did I leave something in there? I don't... I think I did. Every once in a while I find... I must have. I don't know though. Sometimes I find rotten food in here when I... and I don't remember leaving something in there, so I don't know. Maybe I, I, I must have. Yeah, I just forgot. Okay, so um, I got everything repaired while I was waiting for, you know, the mass and everything to come back. I did turn that off, right? Yeah. Uh, to come back on. Um, But it is, you know, nighttime now, so we could... We could get retaliated upon. Let's also make a chicken dinner too. So that is the same thing. It needs two of each of the these three veggies. Beautiful. We are gonna eat good tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes, we are. Okay, cool. So we got some rifle ammo. Let's split some of that in half and put some of it in here. Um and I think we're good with the rest of that. We'll finish off this pick, and then we'll uh, retire it. And, yeah, we already got six premium arrows with us. <clears throat> I might hold off just a little bit longer until we can upgrade our, our bow a little bit more and then start using those. Um, so while we're waiting for our feast, let's go ahead and harvest these crops, get them replanted. Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, we got some cotton seeds and some tomato seeds. Uh, so let's... Uh, oh, that one's done too. Okay. Are these... Oh, yeah, these are... Whoops. These are done as well. I think they... I just checked those, right? So I think they just got done. Nice. All right, so we're going to... We have two tomatoes there. Uh, so we need a total of 14 more seeds. So let's uh, extract five. And then one more here. I'm just doing going to do them carefully here so I don't overdo it, right? Uh, okay, so extract five seeds. One, one, and one. And that gets the tomatoes replanted. Here we'll just throw all the cotton in that we have. And you have th th uh, three spots. What are we lowest on? 
out of all of our veggies. Carrot. Oh shit. Yeah, here they are. Uh, carrots and the other thing. Hold still, you bastards. Oh, how did that miss? Okay, didn't miss that time. Oh, you're not running away from me. No sirree, Bob. Okay, we don't have any more bandages on us, so we're going to have to use a health kit. While we bleed. All right, well. I, oh man, sometimes when I fire this weapon, it seems like I'm dead on. I mean, totally dead on and it still misses. But I don't know. I'd have to look look at the video again, I suppose. Okay, well, that was one of the hunter groups. Who knows which one it was. They're all pissed at us. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, let's make ourselves some bandages. Uh, I'm going to want a total of five plus one to fix. Well, yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm just... I'm gonna let the bleed out finish. Um, okay, so here we go. Look at this, you guys. Our very first um, roast ribs and vegetables meal. Here we go. Om nom nom. Okay, I got us our food back up. We got our uh, our health cap and our health coming back there. So very good. Okay, cool. Uh, we also have the chicken. Look at the blood I got all over the floor. I'm gonna have to get the mop out. Oh, the chicken dinner's done too. Uh, we're not. We can't eat it right now though because we're we're full. Um, but oh, this is great. Okay, so I'm gonna start working on cooking all of this stuff up. Um, you know, to 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 do it right and to free up some space and uh, work on that. And then uh, I don't think these guys hit the base too hard. The most most of the fight was against us. But I'll I'll, t I'll look at it in the morning. It's too dark and cold and snowy out right now for for that. But it's time. <coughs> excuse me. It's time for me to let you guys go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.